Let's start hitting your irons better today. It's one of the key aspects of you playing your very best golf. I don't want you becoming a victim of fat and thin strikes. We can beat them together. Something which you see in pretty much all of the best ball strikers is having the hands ahead of the ball at impact, which means the shaft is leaning a little bit more towards the target. This helps those sweet striking golfers hit the ball first and then the turf, fizzing that ball away. It's also something which many of the golfers I have coached struggle with, but this is absolutely key and please understand, we can't just start hitting down on the ball because the tendency golfers may have when trying to strike down on the ball is coming over the top and hitting like a sledgehammer. In reality, the body isn't gonna allow this position. It doesn't wanna cause damage to itself. This will normally manifest itself in the body starting to back up, lean away, and then the hands and the wrists flicking at the ball. This leads to those fats and those thin shots. So wallop that like button and make this the start point where you won't be making that movement ever again. Counterintuitively, it's often easier to hit down on the golf ball when the club moves more from an inside shallower path than it does from a steeper path. This means you can turn onto the golf ball with the hands ahead rather than being over the top and having to lean back. Comment below if this type of move is something that you need to integrate into your game and I can make more videos about it. So I've got a drill which is very easy to understand and all it requires are alignment sticks and repetition and a golf club and a golfer, of course. So it needs to be placed in an alignment stick which runs over the top of the ball and sits along the target line. Suspend it over the top of the ball. I've used an old cardboard box here. You can use a basket, use your ingenuity. The goal of this drill, and I have an A iron here, is to move the club underneath the alignment stick whilst keeping the hands ahead of the golf ball. So to do this drill, just turn about halfway back and feel the club just move a little bit more from the inside. If you struggle with an over the top movement, you would actually clatter into the alignment stick. So this is gonna help you with the feelings that you need. As you can see, it's perfectly possible to get the club moving underneath the alignment stick whilst maintaining the position of those hands ahead of the golf ball. In fact, to make that solid contact, I can feel my body with its weight on the left side. I can feel myself turning towards the target. So you want a few just slow half swings, just getting the feeling of what this will be to get those hands moving low and ahead, getting that club moving under the alignment stick, and then bring the ball in. Let's make sure it's directly underneath the suspended alignment stick. I've just got the second one here on the mat for a guide of where my feet are gonna be parallel to that alignment line. And then once you've got used to it, once you feel comfortable and confident, have a swing away. So if you want all this information saved on your phone, please take a screenshot now and you can take it with you wherever you go to the driving range, to the course, or even in your front room. I also highly recommend this video on how you can start shaping golf shots to continue your viewing.